Howdy people, welcome to the channel. I need to just vent for a second. I have never felt worse in my entire life. I'm pretty sure I got three or four hours of sleep last night and I don't know what it is, but for the last couple of weeks, I have been waking up every single morning at 5.30 in the morning. This morning I woke up at four in the morning and I can't fall back asleep. And I go to bed at midnight and I'm unable to go to bed any earlier for whatever reason. So I apologize because I will probably be emulating a zombie throughout most of this video and I'm trying to like keep the energy high, but I've never wanted to die more in my entire life. I'm also flying out of town tomorrow. So I think part of me is just like anxious about travel and all of that. So I'm just like not in the right mind space, but we do have a little Zara haul today, which if you guys have been subscribed to me, you know that I love Zara. Zara's like my happy place it's definitely my all-time favorite clothing store i'm obsessed and i do zara hauls pretty much every single week so if you love zara follow your girl because i have the zara content loaded up okay today i have three items to show you they're all tops and it's finally warm in los angeles it has been the rainiest gloomiest coldest winter spring season ever and this is the first week that like literally the sun has been in the sky and i don't know if you can tell on camera right now but i went to malibu this past weekend and i got so sunburnt i literally had blisters on my nose yesterday so we are just not thriving at the moment. But anyways, let's just get started. The first item I have is this really cute little popover situation. I don't really know what to call this because I wouldn't necessarily just consider this a top. It's ultra cropped. I mean, it hits like right under the boobs, right under the bust. And it's also mostly open in the back, although you do have this like panel on top. So it's not like completely open, but it's definitely very revealing in the back. And I don't know if the color is showing amazing on camera, but it is a navy blue color. I don't know if it's looking black in the camera, but it's like a dark navy blue with the cream contrast trim. I have been loving this whole contrast trim look. I've been seeing it everywhere when I go shopping. I feel like normally when I've been seeing it, it's black mixed with white, like a black top with the white contrast trim and vice versa. But I'm really loving this navy cream combo and obviously like a little mock neck. I don't know. I just thought that this top was really unique and it's so different from everything that I have in my closet. The one issue I have with this top right now is I don't know what to wear it with. I can't really wear it to work because it's so cropped. Like I couldn't even wear a tank top underneath. It would look so strange. I think it would be cute if I wore a dress underneath, but I don't really have any dresses that go with this. I feel like I would have to go buy like a navy or a cream dress, which I have neither apparently. And so right now I just don't know what to wear with it. <laughs> I'm struggling with this one, but I also don't want to return it because I think it's so cute and so unique. And I love the little tie back. These strings are also very, very long and it's probably hard to tell, but they do like crisscross. So it's like a really cute little tie situation. And the other great thing about this top is it's only $36 which I feel like for the quality and the material, it's like a sweater crochet -y material. I feel like it just looks expensive. So for $36, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of a steal, but your girl's gonna have to find something to wear with this because at the moment she's just sitting in the closet and I did get this in a size small. Okay, next I have this little tank top cami situation. Literally as I was explaining at the last top, I completely forgot that I bought this top with the black and white contrast. Obviously it is a trend that I am going after and I feel like the contrast here it's kind of an off-white it's definitely not a stark white it's more of like a creamy off-white similar to the navy cream contrast but in the navy top the contrast is definitely more cream and this one's a little bit more like off-white ivory but it's basically just this little rib sweater i think it's like a rib sweater material little tank and obviously it has like the ruffle trim i don't know it's really basic but i just thought it was so cute for whatever reason this contrast is really doing it for me oh my god i've been showing you the back this whole time not that it makes a huge difference because it looks very similar in the front but this is the front i love the v-neck neckline this sort of silhouette to me is very flattering especially if any of you girlies out there have like wider shoulders like thyself i feel like a v-neck kind of draws the eye in and i don't know i just think the whole silhouette is super cute it's slightly cropped but not too cropped certainly not as cropped as the navy top i showed previously 
but yeah i don't really have much to say super basic but a really great easy layering piece for summer and the other great thing about this top is they actually have different color options you could also buy it in cream slash ivory i don't know off-white whatever color you want to call it with the black ruffle so just like inverse and they also have an all over pink version so it's not a contrast it's just all over pink i honestly really struggled deciding between buying the all over black or the all over cream but i'm glad i got the black one i think it's so cute and this guy is 28 dollars and i also got this in a size small also very affordable i'm realizing this was a very affordable zara haul and then lastly i got an item that's definitely not going to be for everyone this item's a little bit different but i got this really cute limey it's not lime green at work we talk about like fashion colors a lot and i would consider this washed lime which is definitely a trend color i see coming for spring 24. i feel like this color is ahead of the curve right now so you'll be the trendiest girl on the block if you buy this vest for this summer because i feel like this color is going to be much bigger next summer and i'm not really one to wear green but this like washed out green color it just seemed a little bit more neutral a little bit more toned down but still really fun and semi bright for summer it's definitely not bright but for someone who doesn't really wear a lot of color this is definitely bright for me and i just feel like it's such an easy basic vest tear it back to white and i feel like you have a really cute spring summer outfit i probably wear these with my white linen pants that i have from abercrombie they're like my favorite summer pants and i feel like it would just be a really cute casual summer fit in the back you have this like v detail with the seaming which i actually feel like is pretty unique i feel like this whole look back here i'm vibing with and i also like the distressed denim i honestly love like all the fraying details and we also have the utility vibes going with the oversized pockets and they are real functional pockets which is great and i know i've mentioned in previous videos but denim is definitely one of my favorite summer trends obviously i'm wearing denim right now right now i'm wearing a mini denim dress also from zara of course and i love denim especially an all-over denim outfit head to toe denim outfits are my fave obsessed i could wear them every single day but this paired back to a white denim or again like i mentioned the white linen pants i think would just be such a cute outfit i also recently purchased a white denim mini skirt with a similar kind of distressed look and i feel like that would be a really cute combo I kind of want to wear that right now and this vest was $40 and I also got this in a size small I will say of all the items this item definitely runs the most oversized I feel like I could have gotten extra small in this vest which is saying something because I never get extra smalls in Zara's clothing but this vest definitely runs pretty big and you guys I just realized that everything I just showed you is under $40 so I'm going to consider this an affordable Zara haul <laughs> even though $40 is still a lot of money okay that's a lot of money to be spending out here but i'm kind of proud of myself because normally i'd be spending like 50 dollars on every single czar item all right let's go ahead and try everything on all right you guys so first we have the little navy top situation i did realize i do have this sort of off-white little mini rib dress it's like a little tank top dress i got this from talentless which is scott disick's clothing brand i'm pretty sure and i think this is cute but i'm still not obsessed and I also definitely couldn't wear this dress to work. It's a little bit too revealing, I think. And nowadays, I pretty much only buy clothing if I can wear it to work because I pretty much live at the office and I'm so boring. I don't do anything on the weekends. So if I'm going to buy an outfit, it's got to be work appropriate. And so far, I just don't know how I'm going to wear this to work. Maybe if I had a long white crochet-y dress. I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I really, really want to keep it because I think it's so unique and so different. But if I'm struggling this hard to put together an outfit, that probably means I should return it, right? Then up close, it's kind of like elastic-y at the bottom, but mostly held together by the little string back here. I also think the back detail is super unique, but I don't know if it's the most flattering, <laughs> especially because it's sort of that inverted triangle. And I feel like all it does is make my shoulders look more broad than they already are and that's a little bit concerning to me because i already am self-conscious about my shoulders and my like broad upper body and so i really don't want to be wearing something that's going to accentuate that and this top is definitely doing that in the back the front's fine i feel like this sort of elongated sleeve also can kind of make girls look a little bit wider i don't know i don't really know what to do here you guys let me know if i should keep it or not or if you think it looks absolutely ridiculous on me or if you have any outfit recommendations let it roll now. All right, you guys, and then I have the little black rib tank. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really love this top with these pants because it's kind of annoying me that these are like a washed out black, sort of an off black, and this is a stark 
black obviously so i don't know if i'd actually pair these together even looking at the camera like i'm not vibing with it but regardless love this little top like i mentioned it's just a really easy basic layering top all right you guys can see full force my sunburn on my <laughs> chest right now look at that yeah i know i was very not pleased with myself i put sunscreen on right when i got to the beach and then it was cloudy and i was like i don't need any more sunscreen um i was wrong the uv i'm pretty sure was 10 or 11 but regardless just the little top really not much to show here super super basic kind of flares out at the bottom because of the little ruffle which is a cute little detail and in the back you also have the v shape which i think is cute not much to report on back here i will say i feel like this does run not big by any means but if you are between sizes i feel like you could size down because the fabric is pretty stretchy and i do feel like this top has already stretched out a bit since i bought it i don't know i feel like it was a little bit more form-fitting when i first put it on but i feel like this fabric definitely stretches but yeah she's cute all right you guys and then finally we have the little green vest which honestly this one might be my favorite of all three tops i definitely consider my style a little bit more streetwear not necessarily grungy but i don't like super feminine clothing and i feel like the last top is definitely a little bit more feminine with the little ruffle trim the first top just gives me nautical vibes and i like that this vest is a little bit more of that utility streetwear kind of look i honestly don't really know what to call it and also this is the denim mini skirt that i mentioned earlier it is a little wrinkled right now which i don't know why it's kind of annoying me but i think it's so cute and i actually do love it with the vest i feel like they look really cute together and i just threw on this little aritzia tank top underneath but yeah i absolutely love it like i mentioned it is pretty oversized for a small i definitely feel like i could have gotten extra small here but i'll probably be glad that i did get the small at the end of the day especially because i don't really know how this fabric shrinks in the wash but i don't know i just think it's so cute and this is the vest up close you got three little buttons obviously you got the two pockets and honestly i think i prefer this vest open rather than buttoning it up I don't know, I just prefer it open. And then here's the back of the vest. Pretty basic, but I do think it's cute. Like I mentioned, I like the seam details going on. This one's definitely my favorite. Highly, highly recommend it. I know it's not gonna be for everybody, especially this green color. There's probably a million shades of green that I cannot wear because of my skin tone as a very pale girl. But if there's any other pale girls out there who wanna get more green in their wardrobe, I feel like this washed lime color is pretty flattering. You guys can let me know if you disagree. <laughs> Because genuinely, I'm not really great with that kind of thing. But I think it looks good. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Zara haul. Definitely subscribe if you're into the Zara hauls. If you're a Zara girly like myself, the obsession is at an all-time high. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope it's better than my day. Because right now, I don't even know how I'm going to make it through the day. I literally just spent $10 to get a coffee delivered here when I could have walked a couple blocks down the street to the Starbucks. I don't even have the energy to walk down the street. The DoorDash worker just dropped off my iced Americano. So I'm going to go chug that and hopefully not pass away. All right, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.